Wouldn't you know it, customer states vehicle overheating. It's a PT Cruiser thing. Not looking good so far. This is the third gallon of water I have dumped inside of this 2.4 liter turbine powered PT Cruiser. It's drinking it right up. Ah! Happening the hood. PT Cruiser, 99,103 miles in the clock. Customer states overheating a lot. That's not looking too promising. I'm just gonna keep refilling this. I'm gonna let it come up the temp, let the thermostat open. The fan is running, you hear the fan? We wanna see if we have a leak uh, internally or externally. Uh, customer states that the thermostat has been replaced three times down there. Three times new thermostat. Still over here. Now, uh, other than my own spillages, I don't really see uh, any water in there. Yeah, that's for me. What's that down there? I think that's water from my spill. Yeah, I don't see it running out yet. But we're still getting those rhythmic bubbles in there. That, that's concerning to me. I speculate that that could be combustion gases being pumped into the cooling system from the combustion chamber in the engine. And that would be bad. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there's some more. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Odd. The level went down, then it came back up. Then it went down, then it came back up. We're gonna continue to monitor and observe. Looking down below, what we got is, that's AC water back there. This is from my spills right here. So nothing's pouring out of it just yet. Okie dokes, it has been a couple hours since we last looked at this thing. I let it cool off. Uh, I haven't seen anything leaking externally just yet. You can see it's cooled off, temperature is back down to, uh, to sub-zero levels. Fan kicked on right away with the AC turned on. I don't see any leaks at the hose, thermostat housing, or the hose back inside of there. Looking at the heater hoses down here, I don't see anything leaking. Well, there's some oil, but that's not what we're looking for. I lose sight of them. Oh, nope, there they are. Got them right here. You don't see that? No leaks here. The radiator is looking kind of dry on this side. I don't see what well, that might be. It's a little crusty right there. See that on top? Can't tell if that's it or not, though. Yeah, it was pretty low. I'm surprised to, that I can't seem to find it. I'm wondering if the water pump is leaking. It's a real possibility. I'm gonna let this come up to temp again. What's cool is the bubbles seem to have stopped. I was beginning to fear head gasket. This is me squeezing the hose. See that? Yeah, no bubbles in there, that's good. There's some coolant. It's about to drip too. Wonder if it's just a radiator leak. Can't really tell, there's a charge air cooler in the way I can't see. Uh, let's look at the front side. And there's an AC condenser on this front side. Hmm. I don't see any coolant here. I kind of smell it, but I don't trust my smell so much. We may need to look at this from the bottom. Okie dokes, we got this thing backed in. I set the rack, green subscribe button. Slip this up and inspect for uh, for some leaks here. Gotta figure this thing out. Turbo Cruiser, moving on up. Oh, what do we have here? Do I see a leak? Yes, I do. Or I spilled a bunch out of that funnel while I was driving around. That might've happened. But I, think, I think we might have a leak going on here. 
engage inspection station. Again, uh, disregard the AC water. That's just from the uh, evaporator. We're looking for something over here. Oh, there's some. Yeah, we got some leakage going down. What is this? Is it the radiator? It's got to be. Look, there's coolant all over the fan. That happened fast. Hang on. I'm afraid I might have spilled some. Hey, what I'm going to do is blow all that off and then we'll recheck it again. Yeah, I, I really think I spilled some, but well, there should be a trail coming in and there's not. Let's blow it off anyway and then we'll see what we can see. Beginning loud noises. Okay, so we know it has a new thermostat. We don't need to recommend that. I'm just gonna suggest we replace the radiator and uh, hoses if we want to. We'll go from there. All right, in the meantime, I'm gonna let this cruiser down. We're gonna power it down, shut it down, let it cool down. That way we don't leak uh, coolant all over the floor. Oh. Power down. Pew. Perfect. Stick that right there. Out. Ingenious device. Deja vu, right? I just did uh, did something very similar on a on a yellow cruiser not long ago. Weird. Oh, and this is not a PT cruiser from the parking lot. This is a new one. This is another one. So this makes like number five. That's that's here in the lot. Weird, huh? It's about a three-hour job. We'll see if we can beat the clock. First on my to-do list is to get this cover off the intake, but I can't do that because these throttle cables are here and I can't get those off because this little cover is here. So uh, let us unclick this little cover. We'll go ahead and pull these uh, throttle and cruise control cables out. There's one. Here comes number two. And then we can pull these off the bracket. I don't want to use my fingernail as a pry bar, so I'll use an actual pry bar. Okay, we can just leave those, we'll set those aside, maybe down inside of there. That, that should keep them out of the way, or not. We'll put them over here. They're not listening to me. Stay over here. And while we're here, we'll pull this intake temp sensor off. Now, we can remove the clips that hold this little decorative cover on the intake manifold. That radiator is gonna come out through the top, so the intake must, uh, must be removed. There we go, coming on out. Let's go ahead and get the boost pipe off, or at least disconnected. Got to pull the battery out, I think. I had to on the last one. Let's disconnect this temp sensor here. Looks like we got a vacuum and or pressure line here. I'm assuming that's going to be pressure because this is the boost pipe after all. Put that aside over there. We've got a towel on the dipstick. I don't like this, so this is going to go away. I don't like paper towels being tied to things. I mean, that did sound kind of matter of fact, like it's a rule of life. I just didn't like that specific paper towel. Come off of there. And it's plenty loose. Fry driver action. Its bond has never been broken. Come off, please. 
No, it's not wanting to come loose. Hmm. Why? These come off. Look at that. I asked it nicely and then pried it. Okay. So there's another connector back here. Looks like throttle position. Let's get this guy off. Oh no, I'm getting Chrysler. There we go. And we're looking for a bracket back here on the back of the intake that just uh, secures everything. I'm trying to feel for the bolts. There's one here, and one of them is missing. Okay, so there's one bolt on the bracket. Let's go in there with the angled ratchet. I think that's an eight millimeter bolt. That's what it felt like. Are so good. Let's see if that's all that holds this on. Yes, it is. Okay, the top part of the intake is loose from its bracket. Two, four, two, three, yeah, five bolts. And it comes free from the lower intake. Ring. Come here. comes and I missed a wire I missed this one right here hmm. I'm out please come out looks like I've just got to ask this car nicely okay let's go ahead and lose this upper radiator hose it's in the way and uh, have a replacement. So it does not need to be here any longer. Come out. There we go. Next up, we need to get this thermostat housing out of the way because one of the bolts for this lower manifold is being blocked by the bolt for the thermostat housing. I learned to remember that on the last PT Cruiser, the one that needed the uh, AC condenser and a fan. Ah, uh, where'd that other bolt go? I cannot reach. Find flexi magnet on a stick. Works almost every time. And we got one more right here. Come on, thermostat housing. I'm not replacing this thermostat or the housing. It has uh, recently been replaced in an effort to remedy this situation. You can see it's brand new. No further action needed. So we need that bolt, that one, the one below it, the one below that, and one over here on the right. So let us remove fuel line and injector connectors, and then we'll attack those next series of bolts. Let's just unclip these guys without breaking the clips, of course. And I broke that one. Oh, hang on, there's pieces of it. That's why it wasn't released, there's a piece of it stuck down there. Okay, that's one clip down. Let's not break the, uh, the secondary side here, the side that fastens it. That would not be good. Come on, please. These have not been removed in a long time. They're pretty stuck wiggle it. There we go. Clip number two. That one has disintegrated upon contact. 
As long as we don't break the rest of it, we're good. All right, that one's clear. How about flip number three? Is this one going to disintegrate upon contact? Negative. I think that one survived. Yeah, that one's good. And number four. Okay, good. We're good here. All right. Let's get the fuel line disconnected. We're going to press its little release clip. It presses from the, the back side over there. And then we'll just wiggle that on up. Come on. Come out, fuel line. It's free. Almost. There we go. Fuel line disconnected complete. Now we need to get this injector harness up and out. And it's been zip tied on, so let us unzip tie this. There's one zip tie disconnected. And second one over yonder. Nice. Yeah, we're getting somewhere now. Okay, we see here that the dipstick tube is bolted to the uh, intake manifold right there. So let's go ahead and get that bolt off. And we'll disconnect that. Because we won't be able to pull the manifold out if the uh, dipstick is holding it down. You can see that's not really a bolt right there. That actually looks more like a screw. That's because that, uh, well, it kind of is a screw. It threads directly into the plastic on that intake. So we don't want to make, or we want to make sure we don't get this one mixed up with, uh, with something else. Okay, we're going in. Let's get those bottom intake bolts first. Ooh, that's a weird angle. Hang on, we need a wobbly. Wobble drive 10 mil for the win. There we go. Got a good bite on that. Unclick. Aha. Got it. Let's get the second bottom bolt. Looks like there's two in the bottom, three on the top. I think that's uh, what my calculations are indicating. That's two. Get the top bolts next. And another one over here. That's the right side, driver's side. Your uh, tape. Get out of here, tape. And looks like we got one more in the center. And this uh, lower manifold should become free. Who knew? Can't line it up. There's a regulator in the way. I can't get my hand on it. Yeah, that's it. OK, 
Okay, here it comes. We're good to go here. Freedom. Uh-oh. Look at that right there. I found more coolant. It's on that bolt right there for this uh, thermostat housing. I bet that is why this thermostat and the gasket and the upper housing has been replaced more than once. It's got a leak right here also. Uh, it definitely has that radiator leak. I'm still looking at it right now. It's still, it's still dripping. See that? That's not coming from that. That is coming from the radiator, but we got a secondary leak going on right here. So uh, we're gonna have to get that gasket right there before, uh, before I proceed. Real quick, let's go down there with a, with a mirror and just double check. Make sure we're looking good. Yeah, I, I it's really dark in there. It's tough to see. I definitely see coolant on the bottom side of that bolt. Yeah, there is coolant on the bottom side. There, there we go. Now I can see what's going on. It's running right down through here. Okay. Yeah, I feel good about that. I'm gonna go ahead and order that gasket. We're gonna replace that too. Well, there's no room for fancy tools uh, down in this tight space. So this is all coming apart by hand. There's one other bolt on the bottom over there and that's supposed to be the really hard one to get to. I believe I'm supposed to remove this uh, power steering pump to get this out, but I think I can get around it Hope I can get around it. Because if not, uh, I will be displeased. Let's see if we can get in there. Yeah, so far so good. I got, got the head on that fastener halfway. Yep, this is gonna work. It's gonna take a while, but it's gonna work. Come on, please. It's almost there. Almost. I think I can get this uh, with the fingers. Not quite yet. Maybe, almost. Close. There's like negative space to work with down there behind this uh, housing. Oh, come on you, I don't, I don't like this. I don't like that bolt one little bit. It's not my friend. The bolt's nearing it's, uh, the end of the threads, so I'm pushing on it with my finger sideways just so it gets like a little bit more friction so the ratchet is able to actually ratchet and then reset because I can't really rely on anything else to reach in there and I can't quite turn it with my fingers yet oh man please turn come on if I think this is fun wait till I try to put that thing back in that should be interesting most. I feel like I'm about to get stuck in here. There we go. I've got two fingers on that bolt. Gotcha. There it is. That was fun. Unpick. Here's that little bugger. Uh, fry driver. It doesn't look too bad. Uh-oh. There's some uh, damage to the surface right here. 
Yeah, a bunch of scoring or scratching or something. Look at that. I'm gonna have to polish that smooth again. Okay. Okay, so I, I usually don't use this type of thing uh, for surface prep, but since I can't fit any other tools in there, I'm just gonna use this. It's uh, basically some sandpaper wrapped around this little shaft right here, connected to a drill. And I'm just gonna go in there and try to smooth off those uh, high spots where that stuff is damaged. I'm not taking away material, I'm just taking away those burrs. Yeah, this is sandpaper, so it does have the uh, capacity to damage this surface. In which case, I'll ruin the cylinder head, and we don't want to do that. Okay, I think that's good. Proceed to continue to grind it. If I see a pit right there, okay. All right, well, what I'll do is just toss a little bit of silicone on that when I go to reseal it. This side looks really good, super clean. Okay, all right, well, right now we're dead in the water until that gasket shows up, which is gonna be tomorrow, so I'm gonna go ahead and focus my attention downward and uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, remove this fan right here and then pull this radiator out. 10 millimeter. Happens every time. It's okay, I know where it went. We'll get that later. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pull the battery too. Who oh, knew? Come on now. Come off fan connector. Oh, this is agonizing to me because there's a mosquito biting me. I don't wanna lose my, my progress here, so I'll have to kill him later. He's still there. As soon as this connector's done, that mosquito's done too. Come on, connector. I can no longer bear the pain. Ha! Got him. Time to lose this air box. I already uh, cut the zip ties. They had the zip tie installation mod going on. Ew, there's water in there. That's not good. That's nasty. Let's go ahead and pull this guy up. It's held in with the rubber grommets. At least it should be. Let me just give it a bit of a tug and it comes apart. Please come out. It's making a liar out of me. There it goes. There's a grommet. There's a grommet. 110 mil and 113 mil. What, uh, oh, weird battery hold down design. Okay, I see what's going on here. It has this bar running across, which bolts on like, way, way down at the bottom of the battery. So we take it, take the bolt off here and then the, I guess the bar comes off. We'll see. Oh, that's in there. Come out. Let's go slow. I think that's it. Yeah, it's out. Come here. There's our bolt. Now, how's this thing do what it does? Just hinges up. This is scary. Big metal bar running across the top of the battery. Okay. No danger here. Okay, and then let's get that negative terminal disconnected. That's nasty. Oh, it's 
seriously? Come on out, please. Okay, now we did all that. So I can reach that bolt right down there. See that? Let me get this thing out. That's the battery tray. Let's see if I can't just, oh, come on. I don't want to fight this. This is stupid. Pry bar. I'm just gonna kind of push it off to the side until I can fit the tool in there. I think, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Maybe, yes, no. Sure, yeah, if I do that, that'll work. Now I can get this guy on there. Again, uh, taking it, uh, or putting it back together is gonna be fun, but right now we're not worried about that. Right now we're just uh, removing it. Contorted backward hand flangey action going in. Got it. Yeah. Okay, there's two more bolts for this uh, fan down below, so let's go ahead and lift the car up. Get those guys disconnected next. Crews are moving back up. Okay, now that the cruise was out of the way, let's see if I cannot find that 10 mil that fell down. Ah, there it is. Gotcha. Slimy. Look at that, this radiator's still leaking. Drip, drip, drip. Now let's go ahead and get these fan bolts out. There's one and uh, one more off to our left right here. Let me go fetch the, uh, the oil drain and we'll pull these transmission lines and then this lower radiator hose. Okie dokes, drain fan coming in. Get up here to get this hose disconnected. Uh, no, cannot reach. There's a boost pipe in the way. Maybe if I go in kind of like kind of sideways. Nope. Seriously? Please? There. See, I said please and, and it, it failed me. It didn't work. Let's try again, please. Mm, halfway worked. Please now. There. Full compliance. Let's just give this uh, this hose a tug here. Ah! There. Guess there was more in there than I thought. I evaded the drenching though. I got a little bit on my leg. That's all. Good. There, while I'm making messes, let's go ahead and pull these trans lines. Or at least one of them. This one has a clamp on it and the other one, well, it doesn't have a serviceable clamp. Mm. Dripping on me. Yeah. Come on, transmission cooler line. Become disconnected, please. Well, that was a negative. It appears to be immune to my charm. Just twist it. That breaks the bond. There, that works. We don't want to dump out all this fluid, so let's, let's plug the hole. Stick a 
bolt in it right there. And then this one, that one, I'm gonna have to break that clamp. Yeah. Here, we'll try it with some better needle noses. Pull apart, clamp. Normally I would just get that with some side cuts and just twist it, but I, I don't know where they are. I think I brought them home. There we go. Unconnect clamp. Got it. There's our clamp. Don't need that anymore. We'll replace that with a new one. Score. All right, radiator's disconnected. Uh-oh, I'm dripping. Dripping trans fluid again, hang on. Need another bolt. Ah, the running is accelerating. Still dripping fluid. Hang on here. New bolt, insert. There we go, all right. That's enough of that. Or not, look, it's still going. I'm gonna clamp it. I'll zip tie clamp it. Cause I don't want to find another bolt. We're gonna use this bolt. Yeah, a couple zip tie clips. Now we're good. Enough of that. All right, let's get this oil drain out of here. We're gonna let this thing down. And we'll go ahead and pull that fan that radiator out. We're ready to roll. Okie dokes, we're back up top again. Let's get this fan out of here. Did you hear me, fan? I said we're leaving. You know, I'm kind of annoyed. I'm just run out of patience. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I'm just not, uh... oh look, another fastener that didn't fit. I know what it is. I just stuck like four or five different sockets on this to try to pull this little neck thing off and I learned that they're standard size. That's why I'm annoyed. Hmm, that's junk too. Alright fan, come on. I'm annoyed. I don't wanna I just don't want to. Come on out. I know, I just, I just did this job or something very similar last week. And I just feel like I'm doing it again. I mean, I am doing it again, but perhaps it's slightly annoying me. It's not, uh, it's not triggering my reward center. That's what's going on. Yeah, let's pull this, uh, Piece of the bumper back, or the grill, I should say. There we go, goodbye. Grill removed, put that over here in the pile. You stay. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, ten mils, and then these 13s, and another 10. Then we can pull this core support off, and uh, then the radiator will come free. Put that over there for now. Okay, that's two bolts, six more. Six point nine more. Oh, never mind. there's two missing on this side. We only have one. Must be my lucky day. Less parts. Get them off. What are we stuck on here? Oh, that one. That one. It's always that one. That one last one. The one other last one. There, that was easy. Nice. Okay, we're going back in. 
We've got one, two, three bolts here, and it looks like one more here, and that's what bolts the uh, AC condenser and the trans cooler to the radiator. So we gotta get these guys out next. I can't get the bottom one with the tool, so I'll have to do that one uh, by hand. And where's my wrench? Good old 10 mil. But this should be the last one. Now we can pull this guy free and we're, we're good. I'm debating on whether to call it quits after this and pick this up tomorrow. I don't know. What would you guys do? You don't come out? Oh, he got me. There's another one behind this boost pipe. It totally got me. See it down there? Look at that little bugger. They like layered them in that area. Uh, you know what? I just need to pull the boost pipe out. Hmm. Can I do this or can I not? I cannot see, I know that. Oh, yeah, that's a plant. Okay. Is this guy gonna come off of here or what? Definitely gonna be a what situation. That guy's not coming off. Urgh. Not without some wiggling action. Come on, you. Yeah, I'm getting some fatigue here. I don't, I'm not enjoying myself on this car. Let's give it a twist. Even that's not really giving me the space I need to get this out. Why? Ah, I got it. All right. Whew. Okay, now I can get to the that little 10 mil that's hiding out back there. Car jam cooler. Disconnected. Now watch this. Look. See what we've got going on here? We've got a bolt that comes out right above that charge air cooler. I bet that's fun if you drop it in there. Hooray, hooray. There, got it. Whew. Okay, I'm starting to feel not so annoyed, except there's another one somewhere. What are we stuck on now? Come on. Why? Tell me why. No, seriously, what's the deal with this? Oh, there's broken core support pieces falling out of it. All right, we'll dig this thing out. It's stuck on, oh, there's a, that's the rubber thing down there, hang on. It's like little rubber, uh, what you call it, like wind deflector things. It's clipped onto it, there. You gonna come out now? Stupid thing. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's still leaking. There's our unit. That's nasty. Okay. Woohoo! Got it. Look, I found some kind of mangled piece of uh, aluminum or something down there. I wonder what that was for. Gone now. All right, I figured out my problem here. I was listening to heavy metal Christmas music and it was really, really making me mad. So uh, I changed the station and now I'm not so mad. Got my new unit, got the old unit. Looks like I don't have to worry about that broken little piece because the new one already has uh, a non-broken piece. Had to switch the clips over, everything's the same. Angles of our dangles are the same. Let's get this thing dropped in. We're good to go. Radiator coming in coming down getting into position it's gonna get bolted in gonna kill that mosquito that just flew by 
Oh, 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 no, no. Undo everything I just did. Gotta change the lower hose. Love my job. Yeah, this will be infinitely easier with uh, no radiator in the way. So I'm just gonna do that right now. I almost forgot and that would have uh, upset me greatly. That can go there for now. Let's go ahead and get behind this, break that bond, give it a shove and it should come right out. Yeah. Na, 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 na. Come on. Got it. One hose disconnected. All right, new hose. Not filthy inside. Let's go ahead and get this guy plugged right on into its home here. Please. Go. That's what I'm looking for right there. Perfect. Yeah, let's get that clamp back down where it's supposed to be. I may have messed up because it has this uh, little tab right here that's like a stopper for the hose so you can't put it on too far. And I somehow managed to get the clamp past the tab even though I shouldn't have been able to do that. Let's see if we can get it to uh, come back around again. Yes, survey says uh, I got it. And right, I uh, think I like it right there. Perfect. All right, round two radiator coming in. All the way, we're not gonna, we're not gonna have any more tomfoolery with this, are we? I don't think so. I, I hope not. I don't want to. We're not going to. It is my wig. A little bit of wiggle in action. And I do believe it's seated. Good to go. All right, let's start putting some bolts in. We'll start with that charge air cooler. And we'll work up from there. Is this gonna work? Or am I gonna drop it? Nope, got it. All right, that's one started. There's another one. That's the one on the passenger side. So both charge air cooler bolts are now threaded. I'll tighten this one and then we'll tighten the other one on the other side. Oh. Click. Okay. Give her the reach around. Perfect. Okay, well, it looks like that last scene was in uh, super high speed, fast motion. So uh, we tightened up this charge air cooler bolt and that one over there. I'm working on this one right here. That bolt and that bolt there. And then there's one more right over there. Come here. I'm not switching sockets. This is uh, this is the stuff that annoys me. I gotta keep switching sockets. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to switch sockets. That's why I'm annoyed. That's exactly why. I need four different size sockets for this car. Each one of them needs to have three different lengths. That's what I'm annoyed at. And then on occasion, I can't even use a socket. That's what's up. Now I know why I'm irritated. Actually, it all started with that right there. Maybe if that didn't happen, I wouldn't be so irritated. But that's okay, I'll get over it. Cause we're in the home stretch now. We're in the uh, reassembling it and putting it back together phase. Maybe, I'm trying to be. That's the goal, anyway. Click. Hmm, that's not straight. Try again. Round two. That's 
better. So here's the deal. This side had three bolts, that side had one, so we have a total of four. I'm gonna do uh, two on each side. And uh, that way they're at least even, All right? Sound good? That's what I wanna do. Click. Let's see, it's a little high up. Now it's not. Unless those threads were stripped. Sure were. Yeah, I see why we only had one bolt. Things not exactly straight. No worries. It's back together. Okay. Let's get this hood latch back on. Two studs, one stud, and one gravity. Two studs. And then it's got these two uh, washer spacer things right here. Come on, get on there. Good. Okay, I wanna eyeball that with the witness marks so it's spaced properly, right about there. What I meant by witness marks is the marks that the nut, nut and washer made last time it was bolted on. There we go. Clicks. Okay, fan coming in. We're gonna get this guy down in place. Just like the last one, we'll thread the top two bolts and then go back down below, get the bottom two bolts. Now, I was able to remove this on the first radiator. It seems to be getting in my way here on the second radiator. That's fine with a little bit of a Maneuvering there's some parts here. I'm sure we can make it squeeze into its little place there Let's see Taking careful to not jam the fins. I don't want to I don't want to bend the fins on the radiator Because it's nice and shiny and if I screw it up, it won't be shiny anymore and That's uh, not what we're trying to do here There we go. Yeah, we're going in move it a little bit see what's in the way Move what's in the way out of the way. Try again. Come on. Oh yeah, we're wedged in there good now. <laughs> uh, what are we stuck on? Nothing, everything. Got a little bit more, a little more. There we go, look at that. Fell right into its home. Beautiful. Okay, 110 mil right here. That's gonna hang the unit. And then we're gonna head down below again and get those lines and the lower hose on. Oh, those were not trans cooler lines, those were power steering lines. I saw the one from the top here. It, it goes to the power steering cooler. Oops. I miscalculated that one sneaky bolt and I put that in before I put the fan in and it, this is supposed to secure the fan. So I need to pull that one out again. Love my job so much. There it is. This back where it goes. And then put this bolt back. You know, it's very hard to control the uh, emotions in a situation like this because everything wants to make me mad. And uh, I don't want to get mad. Oh, I also found out I'm annoyed because, or I think, because I had a splinter in my hand yesterday in this one, like right here. And I had to, I had to pluck it out. It was a very deep one, and my hand is sore today. I think I'm, I'm annoyed because I have an injury. No worries though, I'll get over it. it won't be a problem for long. Now if I can get my wrench in there, it should be enough to get this guy going, yeah. As long as it threads. Which I think it did, yeah. Good, all right. Mm. Come on, flanges. Don't fail me now. Oh yeah, all right, all right, all right. Now we're getting somewhere, fan click. Okay, let's lift this thing up, get the bottom bolts. We're getting some progress made here, I feel better. Oddly enough, the other cruiser did not annoy me like this one is. 
but this one is also turbine powered. We're gonna make it. Yep. All right, there's one. Click. You gonna thread? Yeah, I got it. We're gonna move through this because I don't want to be down here very long. I've got that line connected and this line right here, I need to connect that and then install a clamp. Here, let's put this thing back before I forget. It's very easy to forget some connectors. And I hate doing that. There we go. Oh, come on, it came off. What is this? Love my job. That's good, all right. Okay, what we're gonna do here, so we're gonna go ahead and slip the clamp on where we want it. So that's gonna go, oh, clamp gravity, lost it. So we're gonna slip the clamp on where we want it. Let's go ahead and lose the zip tie all the way. And it's leaking again. There's our clamp. Whoa, there's flashlight gravity. I knew it was coming. Try this again. I can't see. Okay, we have more light. Let's pull the bolt out of this. Hose connected, clamp in position. Where's my ratchet? Oh, I have the power steering fluid all over me and I don't like it. See here, Give me a tight squeeze. Clamp, click. Come on, there we go. All right, back up top we go. Okay, top fan bolt. Check and. Right. Okie doke, so uh, I don't have that gasket yet and the only thing left for me to do is to go ahead and get the intake on. So what I'm gonna do is uh, split this one up like I did the last video. Loud noises. Okay, so tomorrow morning I'll have that gasket. I can reseal that, we'll clean this up. I'll get the intake back together. We'll get the battery back in. And as a bonus, I have here, a box that I can't open one-handed. So I have here a box that I can't open two-handed. That broken torque mount down below. So tomorrow morning, we're gonna finish up this radiator job with this uh, coolant bypass gasket, intake manifold, then we're gonna go back down below, pull off the uh, engine covers and all the plastics on that side. That will give us access to that torque mount down there. And then, uh, we can get that thing replaced and uh, this car should be complete at that point. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close this one out and I'll do that by thanking each and every one of you for watching, I missed, you for watching this video. As always, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please feel free to let me know about that in the comment section down below. While you're down there, don't forget to tap that like button and most importantly, do not forget to have yourselves a great day. See you guys later.